Hello everybody, it is Bordrick Sodoff here, and in today's episode, uh, I will be continuing the Classic COD series. Uh, if you guys like it, please uh, just give this video a like, and I'll know that uh, the ratings mean that I want to that you guys want to see more of it. So anyway, uh, I'm not really sure the gun I'm using. It's like the SVD. I'm not sure. Sorry guys, I haven't really played too much World at War multiplayer at all. I should know these things. But anyway, I uh, switch guns later on so you don't have to worry about seeing this boring gun. Anyway, uh, I'll talk about what World at War means as a Call of Duty to me. I've played a lot of Call of Duties and a lot of first person shooters and I'll sort of tell you where World at War kicks in. So the only reason I initially got World at War for PS3 was because it had zombies. I've, apart from that, it was like nothing to me. I was like, I just want to play zombies and that's all I'm going to do with this game. Uh, I, I did play a few matches of multiplayer, might have been about level 10, but the main reason was to get the classic zombies maps as they were originally intended to be like. Anyway, uh, after about a year later, uh, I got my computer and uh, luckily I got World at War courtesy of Solus Nation. Anyway, uh, World at War on PC is great. You can change your field of view. You can put, you can change it to native 1080p. You can do whatever frame rate you want. And yeah, I think I might have said change field of view. So it is really fun to play. The graphics uh, look almost as good as like, let's say, I'll, I would even go to say Call of Duty Ghost Guys because like full native 1080p or higher, you can't really tell the difference apart from if you look really closely at the textures or some of the textured guns, you sort of notice that it's a old game. But if you're playing it at max graphics, max anti-aliasing, it's definitely a awesome game to get on PC. But then again, uh, it sometimes is a rip-off to buy this game on PC as I see it like $40 on Steam for the Australian Steam. But anyway, uh, this game, I'm for this series, I'm going to get more into it. I'm also going to get more into World of... Yeah, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Maybe even COD 4 if I find the disc for that because I've got COD 4 on the disc which is really annoying because you have to put the disc in every time you want to play even though it's downloaded onto your computer. But whatever, that's 2008 anti-piracy measures which really do suck. Anyway, uh... Call of Duty World at War gives you a nice dark and gloomy feel when you're playing it, especially uh, some of the darker maps such as the one I'm playing. I, I don't even know this map's name guys, uh, I'm really sorry about that. I need to definitely get more into Call of Duty World at War. It is very late in this game's lifespan, but I think it's it'll, I'll still have enough time to get some solid gameplays out of it. Uh, the game I'm playing right now is Capture the Flag Hardcore, so it is pretty fun to play, just capping flags and stealing the enemy's flags or trying to protect your own flag. It's one of my favourite game modes, but I mainly play Domination, but there wasn't really any servers with my ping range that I could really play whatever I wanted to, so I was only limited to Capture the Flag. Being in Australia, there aren't, like, no Australian servers with a constant flow of people in them, so that really sucks. I'm hoping Modern Warfare 2 has a lot more Australian servers in it. Uh, it does have more players than Black Ops 2 on PC, so I think I shouldn't have too many problems finding a game. But then you get people complaining that on PC it takes 10 minutes to find a game, so I m might just have to s sort of leave my game there till I find one. Anyway, uh, World at War, great game if you've got a PC and you somehow see World at War for discount. You don't need a very good computer to play this game. Uh, it runs on very basic hardware. And I definitely recommend buying it for your own enjoyment, guys. Uh, the multiplayer is very solid. Uh, when you hit someone, they definitely die. Not like Black Ops 2, where you have to put tons of bullets onto someone. And especially the fact that I was playing hardcore made it that I could get people across the map with my Thompson submachine gun. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more classic Call of Duty and other videos. See you later, guys. Have a nice day.